very interesting stuff going on right now in the after hours. We're currently seeing on some brokers like Webull uh, that we did see GameStop up over 40%, 35% in the after hours. Then, of course, I'm looking at TradingView and several other brokers. You're seeing GameStop up just 2.2% right now or even down in the red 1% in the after hours. Now, in the back half of this video, guys, I'm going to break down a little bit more in depth with what we're seeing and why we're seeing it because I do think there is a rhyme and reason for what we're seeing here. But it is another one of those times where, you know, there's always something with these names. Whenever these names are hot, whenever these names are running, there's always some sort of technical issues going on here. This one, I think, is a little bit more reasonable to understand. But for the first part of this video, guys, I do want to go over what's going on in the market, several different amazing steps to go through, a few different stories there. And then, of course, in the back half, we will go through several other meme stock updates. All right. So if you guys have not yet, smash the like button, engage with the video. Oh, my Apologies. Also, later on tonight, I'm going to drop a one hour and a half, maybe a two hour video from the space call last night that we did have on X or on Twitter with several different traders speaking about what their thoughts are for GameStop specifically. All right. So several different unbiased thoughts. Some things you guys are going to want to hear, some things you're not going to want to hear, but it's all the information in one spot. So that'll be here on the channel tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right. So if you guys have not yet, of course, smash the like button, engage with the video. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell notification so you guys do get updates when I do, when I do post videos. I will be posting videos midday, especially if we do get any sort of update there with the uh, GameStop at the money share offering, because that did lead to over a 250% move last time we saw that uh, over the next 12 days. So I would be looking for, of course, not exactly that number, but something significantly huge towards the upside if they do announce the you know, overall share, the share offering completion at any point in time this week. All right, here we go, guys. Starting off here first with Tesla. Okay, now this is the first thing I wanted to update. Typically, I go through the spy. And the queues first. I'm gonna go through a few different setups first, and then we'll go over this by the queues. Today, Tesla did hold above that 172 region here, and it has been consolidating for roughly 30 days. Now, one of the most interesting things that I did see online today, at the end of the day, after market hours here, 4:35 is currently 4:52 right now. Elon Musk tweets out, or X is out, or whatever the hell you want to call it. If Apple integrates OpenAI at the OS level. Because Apple today had the Apple event. It's from the 10th to the 14th. And they're having several different updates coming out here. But he says in response to some of the updates that came out today from Apple, if Apple integrates the open AI at the OS level, then Apple devices will be banned from my, uh, banned at my companies. That is an unacceptable security violation. So this is very interesting to me because I do not know exactly if it's just going to be Tesla or if Tesla is one of the first companies to say that. And it could end up being several other companies as well, i.e. Facebook or some other companies that may feel like anybody with an Apple device and open AI could definitely use some of the information within those companies to help make their current company grow faster, right? You know, pull a lot of the insights, social listening, all those things that could be happening um, is very interesting into what AI will be able to do and what the restrictions may be within whatever devices have AI in them or a high level of AI, where you can bring those. Maybe you can't bring them into the movie theater anymore. Maybe you can't bring them into your office anymore. Maybe you can't bring them into a certain person's home anymore. Maybe some people are going to say, hey, if you have an AI phone, keep that shit out. It's possible. We don't know where this is going, right? It's a, it's a quickly evolving story here. That being said, guys, after this much consolidation with Tesla, I am looking for a significant outside move here. If we lose 172, I would expect to move back down towards 168. And then, of course, you know, a little bit of fear towards this gap trap here. Personally speaking, I'm not looking for this gap trap to get filled, but I definitely think there could be a gap trap and then a, a significant upside move as a response to, you know, shorts getting a little bit greedy and getting squeezed there. But if we do see a move above 180, then I'm looking for a move back up towards 184, 159. And then, of course, that you got 190 and then the 206 level for that gap fill. But a significant amount of consolidation here. I'm simply looking for a daily candle close over or, or below that 180 and 172 level. We get a little bit of continuation, guys, and that will be the direction that I go next with Tesla. Let's move on to the next one, guys. ENPH. Now, ENPH, we have traded several times last week. It was an absolutely amazing setup, but we did end up having a pretty horrible Friday. It, it really did sell off here. It lost a lot of the levels there. It had daily candle close below my risk level of 124.79. Now, that being said, today it had... What I would describe as an absolutely amazing comeback. Not the most bullish volume that I would want, but it looks great. It looks absolutely great. Uh, a little bit red here in the after, just a touch here. But if we do get a pushback above that 132 level here, I have 131.91, that 132 level there with EMPH, I think this is a valid long play again, and I will start looking for a move back up towards that 160 level here. There is still a significant move here brewing, and the, the kind of recovery you had today, an engulfing bullish candle, I did not see coming. To be fair, I did not see that coming there. I was shocked. I only noticed it after the market closed, and now my eyes are back on EMPH for tomorrow, okay? 
As you guys know, the NBA Finals are currently on right now. We also have a Euro Cup starting on Saturday. So sports, in, from an international perspective, are still going to be very live. Baseball's on right now. Hockey's on right now. We're at the playoff season. Everyone's got bets. Everyone wants the teams to win. We've got championships coming around the corner. Yada, 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 yada. Games, I'm um, betting on games, sorry, should be pushing some highs here, right? So naturally, the focus went to um, DraftKings, Penn Gaming. I spoke to you guys about DraftKings in yesterday's video. And if you guys didn't catch yesterday's video, guys, I did put out a tweet really breaking down my thoughts on DraftKings. The fact that they have a bullish Harami reversal pattern here. This looks to be amazing. Up 3% on the day. Did see a little bit of pullback here. Didn't quite close that gap from the closing um, from the closing place on Friday. But we did have a little bit of pullback here. And if we can see any sort of continuation here. With DraftKings, I'd be looking for a 39.38 followed by 40.55 on the upside. And DraftKings is not alone. Penn Gaming also looks very good here. I currently am holding calls right now for Penn Gaming, so I really want this to break back over that $18 level there, ideally. But anything over 18 bucks, in my opinion, and Penn Gaming is pushing back up towards 20, 21, and 22 plus dollars here, guys. Those are my favorite setups right now in the market. Now, let's go into GameStop and what we're seeing right now in the after hours, okay? GameStop right now in the after hours is currently up 2.22%. There has been no news about the overall share dilution um, completion, okay? On May 24th, uh, GameStop announced that they were going to have a completion of the share dilution. The following day, the stock closed up 25%, saw a peak of 40% um, during market hours. Now, if we see something along those lines again, we saw a significant move up. We saw a little bit of a pullback. We saw a 40% move the next day. I would expect there to be something very similar here with another, you know, 10, 20, 30% move following the completion of the share offering. But the only difference now is the overall um, float does get a little bit bigger. That's one. Second thing is much, that was weird, much more cash has been raised. So it could actually be a little bit more of a bullish event uh, than we've seen before. Plus, Rory and Kitty Sarah come back tweeting. Not that that is really a catalyst at all, but it just could attract a little bit more attention to this name than it normally would, right? And it already attracts a lot of attention. If we get a daily candle close over that 2767 level, in my personal opinion, guys, it is back to being game on again. And I know some people might be out there saying, it's always game on. It's always game on. I get that. What I'm looking for right here, guys, are these levels to be completed, okay? We got a daily candle close over 2372. Great. Came down, used that support, got buyer stepping in there, amazing. Next thing I want to see here is buyer stepping in in around that 2767 region. Following that, I'm looking for two things, 35 and then 52 week highs. Those are the levels I'm looking at. Besides that, if we do fail below yesterday's lows at any point in time tomorrow, guys, I'll be looking for a pullback down to this gap fill around 1966 uh, to 1745. And that's what I'll be looking at, all right? So if this fails, 19 to 1755. And if it holds strong, I'm looking for 27, 35, and then 52 week highs from there. Those are the levels of games up right now. But in the after hours, I'm going to go back to my profile here. In the after hours, there was some very odd action here. You guys can see here, Weevil says the stock is up 45.91%, and it was up even higher off of this candle here. And I could actually see the tape of several of the of the shares being traded at those 30 plus dollar price levels here. But on trading view, as you guys can see here, that was at the same time, the stock barely moved. So what the heck was it, right? Looks weird. It's always something. I got a message here that came in from uh, a tweet here that came in from Dave Lauer that really did break down. Uh, he said, "Are you wondering what these pr those prices spikes are in your favorite stock in the pre market slash after hour trading? Generally speaking, that's retail investors getting ripped off. There is no requirement during that time to trade with the N NBBO. That's the national best bid and offer. So to make sure that you get the best fill possible." Please stop trading in the after hours session, he said. And then he says, as a follow-up tweet, if you do trade in the after hours, only use limit orders and set your limit prices carefully. This is so important. I'm constantly seeing these crazy prints in all sorts of stocks, and it's insane that neither FINRA nor the SEC have done anything about it. Keep that part in mind. For all you guys out there who saw what was going on in the after hours, you know, it is very weird. Yeah, we'll stay with weird. I was going to say something else. We'll stay with weird. It's very weird, but just it's it's very important that if you do train the after hours, guys, you have a... We're going to stay with weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about saying some other words here, but let's keep it PG. Um, 
it's very important you do use a limit order if you're going to be buying in the after hours on the pre-market and also don't feel like you have to chase anything okay please 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 guys keep things very 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 chill all right so guys that's what i got for you guys right now stay uh stay, come back here later on tonight i was gonna say stay tuned but come back here later on tonight i will have a longer uh video for you guys really breaking down several different perspectives on what the next levels are all right much love i'll see you guys on the flip side if you haven't yet guys smash the like button engage the video if you're looking for me i'm um, looking for more information on trading guys link in the description below for the discord we are there live trading every single day and i'll catch you guys again in there tomorrow morning much love deuces